is who I was when I ran the streets. I earned stripes, turned right, must have seen, must have worked for me. Bills ain't pay, you think you're making it right. Flip the check, cop an eighth, now you up all night. Just ask them for forgiveness and they'll lead your way. Never give up and praise them every day. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Devonya. Welcome back to Real Life Shit. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe below. Today, we will be talking about, do you actually know who you had sex with and had a child with? Do you really know the genetics? Let's go ahead and get into our video. What the hell do you have to lose? We're pulling live on the other side of America. Today we're going to be talking about do you actually know who you was fucking and got pregnant? Now I want everybody to take a look and take a step back. We're going to look at the genetic part of it. Not how much you love the person. Not all that. This is why it is very important to talk to your children about the sex. You know what I mean? Who they're having sex with. And it's very important to look at the family history. I mean, the mental, you know, their mental state, their inside, like everything. You have to look at everything when it comes to uh, you having sexual intercourse with anyone because you can get pregnant. And not only can you get pregnant, but all of them emotions and everything it will come into you or out to you whether you're a male or a woman when you're exchanging the semen and everything like that and it's coming together the more spirits coming together also and yes it could create a child so let's talk about it let's let's talk about it people are not talking about it and when you're creating this child <clears throat> If you have issues, mental issues in your family, or even health issues in your family, that could trickle to your child. If the spouse has mental health issues or regular health issues, that will trickle down to your child, whether the child is around the parent or an absent parent. It does not matter. Them genetic traits will push in and affect so unless you know what exactly what you're dealing with it's going to take a little minute to get in tune with your children especially if you have multiple children by multiple men you have to put your issues your family issues your mental issues and your health issues on the table and then you have to turn around and put the child's in my hand, in my in my position, I had to turn around and put the child's father, you know, and the mental, the health issues, all that. I had to, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to put all that together and I had to start digging deep. Okay, well, he has mental issues. I noticed his other son has mental issues. Okay, so this makes sense. So now let me look in. And you also have to make sure because I can't call, you know, my kid's grandma because they don't deal with us. And that's fine too. I learned to accept that because now that I'm starting to understand it, I don't feel like my kid's energy and where they're gone would have projected the way it is now if my children was around that energy of their family you know and I didn't realize the energy of the family until I hit rock bottom and didn't have nothing and then it was like everybody was ghost nobody wanted nothing to do with us you know what I'm saying so that was fine you know it hurt for a long time but I got over it so with this being said if you're dealing with mental issues or any health issues or your mom, your parents, you know, your dad is dealing with mental issues or health issues, your brother, your siblings, your brothers, your sisters are dealing with mental issues and health issues, you know, 
that could be passed down in a genetics to your child. And it's very important to pay attention to who you sleep with, who you open up your legs with and let enter your wound or who you pull down your pants and let your dick get hard to go inside of the wound. You understand what I'm saying? When you're going inside of the wound and and all of them juices is flowing, yeah, them juices is them spirits and they're going up in. So if you have the child, now what? You have to dig deep because you, ha you have no choice but to love your child, whether you're with this person or not. And nine times out of 10, it's sad to say, but you get separated. You know, it's very few people out here that's been together for years and raised their kids from birth till they're 18. You know, there's some people who co-parent. Like, I have multiple children's father. When I was young, I was a hot mama. I was a hot trot. So, um, I have multiple. I have just one that I don't talk to. His family doesn't do me. I don't do them, you know, but the rest of them, I co-parent. We talk. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Yet, I deal with all of my kids' issues because each one has a different issue and it comes from the genetics. It comes from me. I have anger issues. I got an attitude and I'm bold as hell. I'll punch somebody in the face, you know, but I'm working on it. I really was in love with nothing but thug niggas and it took me to see why I continued to get hurt. You know, that's that shadow work. That's where that came in play. But that's a whole nother video. So it's up to you to know you, your family history, and you also have to get in tune with your family history, what your grandma issues was, you know, and gifts, you know, because it's not always bad. Like there's good traits too. My kids picked up good traits from their, their um, fathers also, you know, it's not always bad. So you just have to learn how to maneuver it. And with them good traits, you show them kids how to flip them bad traits and put that energy into them good traits. But until you see you and really be honest with you, and your attitude, your emotions, and what you're doing, and then you look at, because it's always good to look at somebody else, but when it comes to looking at you, it's like, uh, you don't want to be honest, you know what I'm saying? And until you're ready to be honest and open up to knowing your genetics, your parents' genetics, your siblings' genetics, and the person that your genetics Yes, then that's when you decide, okay, this is when I'm going to have kids. And now it makes sense of why they say you should be married before you have sex. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just, I feel like it could be so much better. But unfortunately, I didn't go through that. So today, I wanted to share a short little film. You know, do you really know who you're fucking? Do you really know the family history on who you're fucking? Say this with the utmost respect. When we're raising our kids, we try to hide things from them. We need to let them know. You need to ask them, has anyone touched you? You need to ask them, are you okay? How are you feeling? And yes, sometimes they will piss you the fuck off to the max. But you have to calm down, you have to pray on that thing, and you have to bring them back in and you have to talk to them. You have to talk because communication is everything. And you have to explain to these babies that's out here having raw sex because their parents didn't was too scared to talk to them. You have to talk to these babies and you have to let them know that about the diseases out here. You have to let them know that these people out here are sick. You know, so it's very important for our little girls to be covered up because there are fucking mental issues out here looking for a young girl to prey upon. You understand what I'm saying? We have to tell our children about having unprotected sex because you could get a baby, you could get a disease, or you could have a child and not realize the impact until it's too late. They could become 
thieves. They could become murderers. They could become sex traffickers. They could become fucking people who just blow up shit for no reason. This is the shit that you have to watch out for when you're having sex with people. You have to watch out for this stuff. And you have to explain this to your kids. So they could watch out for it. Just because you made the mistake and you fucked somebody that was fucked up. And now your child is fucked up. You could change that. You could switch that. You could switch it. You could switch that energy. <clears throat> you could switch that energy and shift it. But you have to be honest with yourself and you have to be honest with your children. You have to sit your children down and you have to have that sex talks and that sex talk. You have to have the sex talk with them because if you don't, another child will or another adult will. And they may fuck up your child's brain having them think that something else is okay and it's not. All right, y'all. This was a very, very touchy topic for me because as I start learning with my kids, I'm just grateful for shadow work because I'm now learning the one self of my children and I'm doing back history on their fathers. The one that I could, the ones that I could talk to, I know, you know, their mentals, I know their health issues, I know their parents' health issues. But the, that one that I don't talk to, I don't know. So I, I may ask a few friends, you know, and they probably, they honestly don't be knowing. Um, they could just give me like a few stories and I could put that together, you know. So be very mindful of who you're laying down with and talk to talk to your boyfriend's mom or talk to your girlfriend's mom, you know, and get that information before shit hit the fan and you can't. Or someone pass away and you can't get that information because not all things are bad. Not all breakups are a bad thing. I just was dealt that part on one of my children. And I thank God that all of my kids' dad isn't like that. It just so happened to be the one that I have the most children with. Uh, I got dealt that hand. But it's okay and I'm grateful for it. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. And y'all just have a blessed one. And remember, remember, talk to your children. Talk to your sisters. Talk to your brothers. This is a topic that should be discussed at the kitchen table during dinner, breakfast. You know, this is a topic that really needs to be talked about. Do you really know who you was fucking and had a baby with? Do you?